Are you ready for another you all? Uh, good at Abby TGIF. Really? G I L. Please hide. No, no, no. Why? Oh, damn shame. We are doing a uh, question and answer um, series. Starting this Friday, we're going to be doing relationships. We got your side of the story. We don't want it anymore. It's boring. <laughs> We need to talk to the boys. Why are we laughing at you? Right? <laughs> I'm not a stereotypical man. I see the whole yeah. Some shit. I don't, I, I don't throw things anymore. Wait a minute. I don't throw things anymore. What happened? I don't throw things happened? anymore. Y'all have sex and you get Because <laughs> from a known of this person from parts of the with Reggie in Atlanta. <laughs> Ian in Philly writes. Actually, it's like Really? Hi. <laughs> Happy Friday. And welcome to the Gang of Advice here. I'm TJ. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? All-Star Celebrity Apprentice. All-Star Celebrity Apprentice. Okay. Pretty All much the whole, the whole talk was on Rosa. Like and the episode that I picked up on was, um, what was the episode? The, 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 the uh, night episode, the, the night Latoya got cut. What were they doing? Dumb ass Latoya. So yeah. Like, they were on a, they were doing a play. No, no, correct you. Yeah, they were. They, they were doing, they were doing a, a promotion. For, the, uh, for a drink, I think it was, mm -hmm. and they did it in the style of a play. And she was the. Uh, and Omarosa uh, left at the beginning because she got a call saying that Michael, Michael Clark Duncan, was sick, and she just abruptly disappeared before everything happened. Before the planning really started, before anything really happened, she stayed for maybe like five or ten minutes, and then she got low until everything was done. Then she came back. So because of such, Mr. Trump asked. Who was the weakest team, weakest member on the team? And Latoya said it was Amorosa because she was not around. For to, she wasn't contributing to the play. She okay. um, did nothing. Even when at, when the play was being produced, you know, when, when it was go time, she was there for like five, ten minutes. And then Latoya made this big deal saying, you know what? I'm having such a problem. Can I fire, for the first time on the Celebrity Apprentice, can I fire someone? Trump was like, no, you cannot fire someone. But what you can do is you can pick, bring back the two people that you feel did not contribute, that you feel that should get fired. What did Latoya do? <laughs> Latoya, <laughs> come here, come here. Latoya brings back the strongest member of the team, who was already voted the best member of the damn it team, Brandy. which is Brandy, and brings back Rodman. Dennis Dennis Rodman instead of on the show? So she, 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 so she brings back. So she makes a big complaint about bringing back Omarosa, but when it's time to bring it back, she punks out and gets she the best one. And, and then the real T.E. is, when she right. went on Wendy Williams, she said the reason why she never brought Omarosa back because, because she felt like that Trump was never going to fire Omarosa because he was one of her favorites. But then, like, there was a whole scandal going on about Michael Clark Duncan's funeral and how she was using it as a like a production no step to further her career how she really didn't even love the man and and then it's like like it was like three days of that because first Latoya was on there first and then Omarosa came on the next day on Wendy dressed in all white trying to look all angelic and she called Latoya all types of lies and things about her brother's uh, uh, molestation case and stuff like that and how Latoya really had, had recanted her opinion and said she believed that her brother did it. Then Omarosa was sitting up there crying a river about how it was, it was a very sad experience, you know, dealing with the fact that, you know, her fiance 
died while laying, well not died, but start stop breathing while laying next to her and she had to do CPR and then he later died in the hospital. But then the next day they had the other chick on there who got voted off and she was talking about how Michael oh. Wilson was such a bitch and that they had a red carpet at his at Michael Clark Duncan's funeral and all it was it was a It was all types of <laughs> I'm Wilson was engaged to Michael Clark Duncan. I didn't know. Yeah. You know. I, I didn't know that either. Watch the show, but what yeah. the fuck? I did again. And that was, was the question, question raised by Wendy of how Michael Clark Duncan, who was a nice guy, got hooked up with that venomous snake Amorosa. So I didn't know that. That's awkward. Like they were engaged. Like they had to be married. I, when they was watching it, well, when I was watching, I thought they were saying that. I didn't know that maybe her husband or whoever. Knew Michael Clark Duncan, but I didn't know that she she was okay. dating her herself. Mm -hmm. the, the biggest part about it is the way that they're basically putting her on blast to make sure she is an opportunist. Op opportunist. She's a hardcore person who's about her career, who will fight teeth and nail to further her career, even if it happens to be the hookup. Obviously, her. she wasn't that relevant if no one knew while he was alive that they were going to Gala. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think people knew. I also think the general public knew because we didn't. I don't think the general public cared about Omarosa until Michael Clark Duncan died. Yeah, I don't think the general public cared about Omarosa. I mean, we all know that she's a shrewd business person. We all know that she can tend to handle things very bitchily. But aside from that, I don't really don't think too much points about her. The gang and them making up words since the dawn of time. <laughs> <laughs>